Hey everyone, in this video I will be talking about Heptabase and Notion. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about is just the basics for both uh, in terms of comparison wise and just uh, a little bit of the futures and background about each platform here and maybe even at the end which one you should go for uh, for this kind of platform. So I will just be comparing their uh, futures and pricing and all those kinds of things. And hopefully it helps you by the end of the video. At the end of the video also I have a notepad which has some sort of bullet points which could help you uh, just visualize the comparison easily and just make your uh, decision over there. But to start off, Hyptobase and Notion are both... Uh, Simply put, note-taking uh, platforms that helps you with uh, project uh, managing or with, with your team and basically just helps you to visualize your thoughts and ideas and have all of those things in one place where you can just connect them to each other. And basically just project managing uh, and note-taking with many, 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 many powerful tools within each one of these uh, very powerful platforms. So to start off, let's just go over Hepta Base. Uh, and to start off, let's just talk about which platforms it supports. So for Hepta Base, if we just go ahead and go heptabase.com and we just go to download, we will find the platforms that it supports like Mac OS, Windows, uh, Linux, iOS, and Android. So it can support all of those things and you can just download the apps for either iOS or Android. It should be over here. Simple as that. Uh, next thing is going to be the pricing. So uh, for the pricing, when it uh, comes to Heptabase, they only have one plan. So there's not much to it. So it's just one plan. Uh, but here it gives you two options either to pay uh, to pay monthly or yearly and since it's just one plan that means if you get this plan you will get pretty much everything within Heptabase which is kind of nice so they highlight some of the features for you like whiteboard note taking where you can just have a free space uh, which helps you and your team pretty much just have all your ideas in one uh, empty space, which is very, very useful uh, for project project managing. Uh, PDF annotations, web app, and mobile app, which means the, the, the one we just talked about. And then we also have real-time syncing with local first support. Uh, so these are just some of the highlights. Now, actually, our, I'm going to be going uh, over the the main highlights of the futures that Heptabase themselves tell us about. So if you just scroll down within the uh, website, we have here uh, learn complex topics, visuals, and we got research and discover insights faster. And we also have project management reimagined. And then we can just dive into each one of those categories and they will explain to us more about it. So for example, for learning, they have a huge variety of tools which will help you with that. Like this, see the big picture of your learning topics, group your learning notes into referenceable, referenceable uh, sections, as you can see here. It's just like pretty much what you see on in the movies the when there's a detective in something. So you can just connect all of your ideas in one whiteboard, which then you can just zoom into this, for example, and then move on from this point to the other. It's, it's very, very, um, how can I say it? It's interconnective and it helps you to just uh, have your thoughts in one place and makes, you, makes complex ideas and learning much much easier and it makes it even easier for you and your team to break it down to pieces where you can learn faster and then if we, if we just keep scrolling down it just gives us more and more like effortlessly map out your learning like this and uh, it just gives you some reference here organization you can 
so you can make tables and uh, charts uh, and all of those kinds of things so so you have multiple options to for organization it's a huge part of heptabase when it comes to that and then reuse your knowledge across different topics like i said interconnectivity is everything for heptabase so you get that so that's for learning and obviously there's more they're just highlighting some of the, the futures for us for research we'll find uh like we can have pdfs images uh i think also i think don't quote me on this uh videos that you can just have over here which obviously obviously helps a lot or drastically when when it comes to uh, uh, research and uh, you know just pictures make things easier for me personally i'd like to learn with images so this with pdfs and uh, images it just makes life very very much easier for you and your team and then more with for the connect ideas from the past to the future where you can just create bi-directional links across notes and journals where you can just click for example uh, in this reference picture you can just click on this which will redirect you to uh, the direct manipulation uh, and other pages that you have created and you can just create links for them again with the interconnectivity you see the pattern here it's pretty much every everything for heptabase which is very nice and then you also get more and more things like in, uh, insights uh their daily journal and uh all the, you can just come here and uh really see that for yourself i'm just highlighting some of the things and like i said i have a note at the end which should highlight just the gist of it for both platforms and then for projects you can just keep track of tasks and ideas at different stages by creating a kanban view uh, and then you can just track the progress much like uh, trello and uh, other other platforms just like that so you can just manage your projects easier and you can actually see the stages of the projects whether it's done whether it needs a review and so forth which is awesome and very productive and like it says here you can just do all of these things you can just visualize everything within one place uh now let's just move on to notion so just to compare it fairly let's first talk about which platforms it supports that is within like downloading I'm pretty sure you can just use the website for uh, Mac, uh, Windows, and Linux. I'm not sure if you can use the website on on uh, mobile, but they have individual apps. So if we just go ahead over, hover over download, we see we have support for iOS and Android. That means they have apps for them, and also Mac and Windows. You can download download the app, and web clipper where you can just uh, uh install it for these uh, browsers so next we are going to be comparing the pricing uh where they have two different pricings for actual plans where you have to pay and and also the enterprise i'm not just going to count that but um mainly the main point here they do have a free plan which really helps you to start out with Notion. So if you want to just start without committing too much, just learn the basics and uh, pretty much do uh, things within the basic set of tools that Notion gives you until you learn enough and then you upgrade. This is a great platform for you. So here they give you the free uh, plan and then they got the plus plan, which is going to be uh, $10 a month per user per month. So $10 per user per month. $8 is going to be if you pay annually. Uh, and then for the business, you get uh, 15, oh, I'm sorry, $18 per user per month. Uh, and now let's just see the main highlights. So here we got a few categories. 
like we have the AI add-on, if we just learn more about that, they give you a better explanation than I ever could. You can pr pretty much just it like we know with other AI. They really help you a lot with writing, with uh, getting answers and things like that. And they also autofill tables, which is crazy. And then you can write better and get answers if you want. Like, for example, if you see the picture, what is the web team working on this week? And it, it actually tells you the answer. Obviously, you can ask it multiple things and it's going to help you by a lot. So it's very, very nice. Uh, you need to correct me on this. I think a, the Notion AI is going to be a paid, uh, a paid, uh, pretty much tool. I'm not sure. Like it says here, if we just scroll down a bit, it's an add-on where you can add to any paid plan for, uh, $10. Yeah, it is. It is a paid uh, tool to have. So if you have the free version, uh, or the plus or the business one, you need to also, <clears throat> if you need the AI to pay $10 per user per month for the AI, uh, separately from what I am understanding from here, but I would pretty much recommend it. If you have a, uh, a, a tight switch schedule, maybe, and you really want all the help that you can get because AI helps by a whole lot. Trust me on that. Uh, and then we go back and then we can just find like wikis, uh, where you can find a lot of features within the wikis. If we just click on it, they will show you a lot of things, but I'm not going to go through it just like I did with, uh, Heptabase bit because it's pretty much like it's it's kind of the same thing where you, it's simply just going to show you that you can have a lot of interconnectivity um, and uh, you have a lot of uh, integrations as you can see here like Figma and GitHub uh, and all of those things you've got a lot of those and then if we go to futures uh, you can see everything is at a glance like we said for Hepta you can just see everything within one space which is very very much needed and things like drag and drop organization uh link to other pages all of those things are very very helpful and then we can also go for other things like if we go from wikis to projects same thing they give you multiple futures and then for docs which i will go through actually because they have very very nice futures within the docs section if we go futures you will see here like you get code snippets, toggles, uh, images and videos, uh, math equations, table of contents, and a lot more that you can do here, which will help tremendously with your team management. Um, because no notion is more focused on actual like emphasis on team work rather than just solo, because it just makes everything clear for every single member of the team. And these tools actually help a lot. Combine that with the AI and you have a beast of a platform to work with. Now I'm just going to go through the notepad to finalize my points and see which one, uh, my bad, if I just minimize that. So here I have this note. And let's just read through it. It's just going to finalize our thoughts. And I also have a short summary. So both are note taking platforms that provides you with powerful tools, which helps you with your task management, visualization, your thought, visualizing your thought process and piles all of your thoughts and ideas in one place. Sounds very excellent. And they are actually very excellent. So the pricing, we talked about that, uh, for, for uh, Heptabase, they only have one plan, no free plan. Uh, and for Notion, the big plus is they have a free plan, which offers a lot, by the way. It's not like, it is obviously lacking of some features, but it's not like completely lacking. You can use it and make a lot of progress with the free plan. 
which is very excellent. But then they also have the plus and business. And if you just want to see what those future, you can just go to uh, pricing and you can see plus has everything in free and unlimited blocks for teams, uh, things like that. And then for business, everything in plus and uh, all of the these uh, extra futures. And also for enterprise, you just need to uh, obviously contact them depending on your company size and those things, they will give you a fair price. Uh, but moving on, let's just talk about some of the highlight futures for both. Remember, mostly these futures are going to be like for both, like both of them have them. But it's very hard to compare these two powerful beasts because they both are excellent and they have a lot of the futures within uh, both, basically. So for Optibase, we can see group your learning notes into referenceable sections like we talked about. Uh, you can effortlessly map out your learning uh, where you can just have everything uh, mapped out. This connects to this. Uh, this will lead to that. This is the answer to that. Very, very powerful. Full PDF highlights and annotations onto the whiteboard to think. So those are the PDFs, images, and I think videos. Again, don't quote me on that. Um, like I'm pretty sure Notion, you can add videos. 100% you can add videos. But for Heptabase, uh, I need to, I need to uh learn about that more but i think like 90 percent that you can actually have uh, videos as well so not only pdfs and images and then you can just connect ideas from the past to the future create a table view and app properties such as summary insights dates and more and also available for these platforms for notion uh you got the ai add-on you got drag and drop organization which makes notion very very easy to use you simply just drag and drop and you're good to go you just rescale things resize things and it's it's fully there for you uh link to other pages easily just like kept uh, uh synced blocks which keeps content updated automatically uh code snippets available on these platforms so i i just from like based on my personal research this is what i came up with for the summary, so both are very powerful, obviously, uh, for many different uses. But Heptabase is more focused on the aspect of actually taking notes and learning complex complex projects with many tools in your pockets. What does that mean? That basically means it's more focused on actually the learning aspect, the breaking down of a subject and actually allowing you to just make a, a complex subject very much easier for you to for you and your team to understand and for notion it's just more focused on the team management aspect and amount of things that you can create to just have most tasks much easier i think that's self-explanatory it just makes everything very much easier for you and your team so I think this is it for the video. That's all I have to say for you. I hope this video helped you. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.